Good morning, happy Tuesday. Yesterday we had off for Veterans Day, which feeling very grateful. I think a lot of other people that I saw just by scrolling through Instagram had school yesterday, but I know a lot of people in California did not. Anyways, today is also pajama day. Hence the cute set. It is anti-bullying week and today is put bullying to rest. So that is what I'm wearing today. I was gonna wear like more like sweatpants and a sweater vibe, but then I tried it on. I was like, wait, it's actually so soft and surprisingly warm. Um, I got this a couple of years ago. It's just like a silky black ribbed set collar. I would wear this as just like a normal day-to-day -day set, but I think I will get called out on it because it looks too much like pajamas. And then I've got my hair in the bubble braids. Last Friday, I told you guys that I was gonna, Chelsea and I were gonna stay up for school and do some biz town job stuff. We did, we were laughing because we never stay any other day. We would stay on a Friday. We got some of the jobs done, but it was, like I said, a lot more complicated than we thought. It's just a very dynamic process and we wanna make sure that we get the right fit, jobs that students can actually succeed in and be challenged in. My students on Friday made me the cutest little card and they were just walking around with it and asking people to sign it and write sweet notes. So that is what they did and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I love them. Today, we are going over our practice quiz for math over decimals and powers of 10. I always go through a practice quiz and then we do the actual quiz. So that's gonna be on our math agenda today. And then for ELA, we're gonna read about the Incas. We're gonna read the birth of the Inca empire today. This is one of the informational readers. And down farther in the Incas, they talk about the Aztec myths. So I kind of have to skip around, but I might go to that first. Okay, so on the next chapter, it's myths of the Aztecs and the Incas. I always hype up the myths because I think they're so cool, they're so fun, and they're interesting. And you know, whenever a teacher's like really excited or passionate about something, the students almost end up excited and passionate about it too. I remember in my fourth grade class, my teacher did a read aloud every single day, and her read aloud was The Man Who Loved Clowns, which I have the book now. Um, but because she loved it so much, she hyped it up, I just was falling in love with it. And I don't know, it's just cool to share your passions and then show your kids that you get excited about things like that too. You guys know I like to change up my space a lot. And I was thinking, I currently have my kidney table in the back of my classroom, which has worked really well and I love changing it up. I kind of want to put it back over here again, just because it's easier for parents to come in this way and just like sit at the table that's near. I was thinking about moving all the desks turning them horizontally so that some of my students might be, their backs might be turned to me, but I don't know how I feel about that. I've never done that before. Um, so really they would have to turn around. So I don't know if I'm liking that yet or not. And then back here, I was thinking about getting a rectangular table if I can find one in around the school and just having like students who need to do one-on-one -on -one time or like conference with me come back here. So I have like another little tiny space back here. Time to get our morning started. I always get my slides ready. I always get the vibe going, music, and whatever plans I need for the day. Some of my students are coming. Before I forget though, I was talking to my husband about this, but I take Wilbutrin and I have it for a while now um, for anxiety, depression, anxiety, depression, ADHD, kind of a, a mix all. I feel like I've talked to people before and they have said that, sorry, I'm trying to log into my Apple. I've heard that people have said that it kind of like after a while your body kind of gets used to it and then your body wants more because it just like doesn't work as well. I don't want that to be the case because I feel like I am a little bit more anxious and stuff but I was anxious and like maybe like feeling sad and like it's hard to get out of bed. Maybe it's also because of like the seasonal change. So if you've taken any of those kind of medications and if you're if you feel comfortable sharing does it just kind of like ease down and you have to up the dosage or what i think i have to have a checkup anyway soon so i could mention that um i even tried it changing the time that i take it so i took it last night um just to see if it like you know does something different to me the next day also thanks for commenting your things about the accutane stuff i definitely won't be getting on it because i feel like i've heard not good things and my acne isn't severe. I think I just have a lot of hormonal things and then my anxiety and my stress add to my acne and my chronic fatigue is what I call it but yeah. 
almost forgot to vlog the rest of the day, but it's now plan time for math. We um, took a practice quiz together. So what I usually do is I have students either come down to the carpet, stay at their desk. I turn my document camera on. We go over the questions and I, I go through and I basically just put it into a Word document, change up the numbers and things like that, change up the names, and then we go over the quiz together. And then right after I say, okay, pay attention to what we're doing. It's kind of just a review. And then I say, okay, it's time to take the quiz. So we take it afterwards. It's usually like four to five questions. And then in ELA today, we read about the Incas. We first read about the Aztec myths and we talked about how the flag of Mexico came to be what it is. So yeah, we talked about the flag and they were so excited because they were like, oh wait, this is like the Mexico flag. And I'm like, yes, it is. And then we did some BizTown Q&A kind of stuff. Our field trip is already next week, which is crazy to me, but I'm just trying to get them prepared and excited. Happy Jersey Day. I'm wearing Brandon's jersey this morning. Today is a minimum day, but today we are dedicating to, you guessed it, BizTown. I'm going to go ahead and announce all of the jobs, and we're going to have both fifth grade classrooms come in here so we can do like a big reveal and make it really exciting. Um, we're going to be working on our BizTown prep packets, which is basically everything that they need to have before they get to BizTown. Um, and this is the only packet that's turned into BizTown. It has like their advertisements on there. I need to go print all that stuff out this morning create some slides for every single job so that I can easily just kind of slide through, put the names, put the positions on there, and then we're good to go. So it's gonna be a busy day, but I think it's gonna be a productive day. Just dropped my kids off at specials and it's 10.06. I totally forgot that we had a different specials day because we missed school on Monday, so my kids missed like 10 minutes of music, so I feel so bad that it's just like, very abrupt. But this morning we went over our BizTown jobs. So exciting. All of fifth grade was in the classroom and then we just went through the slides, cheered everyone on for all of their positions they got. My kids were like, Miss Kellogg, where's my spelling quiz from last week? So I handed that out and then I said, hey, let's just you guys grade your quiz that you took the other day and let's see how it goes. I gave them all a pen. I told them to put all pencils away and I just put the list on my document camera and they were to go and grade it just like I usually do so next to the word that they misspelled spell it correctly and then put the uh, amount at the top over how many words there were so they like that um, and then now I have one less thing to do so that's pretty cool I might incorporate that a little bit more getting these little sheets of paper ready because right after we come back from music we're gonna pick the new student shout out I always have to just clean up my desk. I don't ever leave it messy or unorganized. At least if I am cleaning it, I have it things in piles, but it's never a mess or else I feel a mess. <sighs> Happy Thursday. Um, today is hat day. It's also picture retake day, which I'm definitely doing because I said I looked so washed out in my last picture and I was like, whatever, at least they have retakes. Um, but I'm waiting to wear my hat. Actually, it's Brandon's. I'm wearing, oh, haven't tried it on yet, but it is. It's a big one. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, um, yeah, that's my hat. Curled my hair this morning for the picture retake. Put on a little extra makeup, put on some mascara. Anyways, I'm wearing these overalls and this long sleeve mock neck turtleneck thing. I got everything at Plato's Closet. Is consignment shopping considered thrifting? I don't know, let me know. But long sleeve is Plato's Closet, but like Target. I just realized I wasn't recording. Um, I know I've opened up about my mental health on here before, but yesterday was one of those days where I just felt like the low lows, not for any particular reason, I don't think. It was just one of those moments where I just felt like on the verge of tears, crying when I got home, like didn't feel good about myself. So in, I just didn't feel good in general. I was just telling Brandon like, I don't know what it is, but I just feel sad. Um, Sometimes it's just like, it's just so random and I don't know why I'm like so deeply affected by it. Like I understand like hormones, high, low, whatever. Um, but I don't know, I don't love it because I just feel like I'm not as stable as I want to be. Does anyone else go through that where there are just like periods of lows and highs? Like I have those too, but I don't know. I'm just so, I'm very in tune with my emotions. So I think it just affects me a lot. I don't know. Let me know if that happens to you. What do you do? I skipped the gym yesterday. Chelsea and I have been working really hard on just like our BizTown stuff. Yesterday she wanted me to make a TikTok with her, so 
I'm not even joking. It took me like 30 minutes or so to even figure out this like one simple, simple move. Like I have no coordination at all. Like if you saw me, you would be laughing and then probably annoyed. The days are just BizTown prep packets, which just some admin stuff for BizTown like that I have to enter in. Confirming our volunteers and then just getting the students prepared as much as possible. And also getting ready for our student-led conferences. I really wanted to get this done today. Um, our ways I glow and then the ways I can grow. I was thinking about doing it by subject and then maybe one behavior wise, like how they feel like they are um, just in the classroom. I wanna practice today with their classmates. Like pretend you are in my conference and I'm reading off the script to you, I'm presenting it to you. So I'm gonna do like a round of like, hey, turn to two partners next to you or move around the room and pretend you are doing a conference with your family member just to see how it feels, see how it flows. What do you wanna change up? Cause they do have an index card inside their folder of what they would like to say. It's my plan time. We just did um, how to write a decimal, how to read a decimal, 3,200, but it was like our first lesson, so it was very quick. Then we went in and did our BizTown work packets. We did some independent reading today. And I don't know what it is, you guys. I don't know if I'm defeated. I don't know if I don't have any patience like I used to. Um, I just feel like I'm letting the behaviors kind of get to me, but I'm also frustrated because I know it's also an academic thing that creates the behavior and that is what it's difficult. The lack of careness sometimes, like not all the time, but sometimes when it's time to get serious and they just cannot get it together, it's so frustrating. I don't know. I just feel like I used to be so on it with the behavior management in that way. I haven't lost that. I think I just don't have the patience for it anymore. So I don't know. I feel like there's so much I can do. I don't like raising my voice I don't even want to get to that point and sometimes I know that that is needed. I can't do it all so I just feel frustrated right now and maybe it's just like overwhelm like they know the field trips coming up student like conferences maybe it's that. I don't even know if I was recording maybe not but anyways I just got home and we went to the volleyball playoffs game we have a really good volleyball team Chelsea and I got to go um support the girls but Brandon got to bring it off early today, so I didn't have to like rush home after the game to like go pick up the girls or anything. So that was really nice. After school today, I talked to some of the teachers and they were like, honestly, the day was so hard. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, I'm having the same day. And everyone was like, yeah, I feel sad today. I just feel like it was just a hard day. So glad I wasn't the only one, but then my friend was like, there's a full moon. And I've never been a believer of like the full moon doing anything, but maybe now I do. I, you guys believe in the full moon doing anything? I never get to take off my makeup like right away. So it feels nice doing that. 